Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to practice trading without risking any of your real money, today's tutorial is exactly what you need. I'll walk you step by step through setting up a demo or paper trading account on TradingView. By the end of this video, you'll know how to place trades, track your results, and even reset your balance to keep practicing all in a risk-free environment. Let's jump right in and start by signing up for TradingView. First, head over to TradingView.com. You might already be familiar with the platform, but if you're brand new, TradingView is one of the most popular charting and trading tools out there. On their homepage, you'll notice a button that says Get Started or sometimes just sign up, go ahead and click that. Now you've got a few options. You can create your account with your email or use a Google, Apple, or even a social media login. Choose whatever works best for you. Don't stress if the site asks for email verification or a quick setup process. This just keeps your account secure and it only takes a moment. Once you're signed in, the next thing to do is open up a chart. Look at the top of the TradingView dashboard and you'll see the chart option. Click on that and the platform will open a brand new chart window for you. This is your main workspace. Think of it as your trading cockpit, a place where you'll watch market moves, spot trends, and eventually practice making trades. If it looks a bit overwhelming at first glance, that's completely normal. As you spend some time here, it'll start to feel like second nature. Now let's find the trading panel. Scroll to the bottom section of the chart. You should see a tab or panel labeled trading panel. Give that a click. This is where TradingView connects you to different brokers if you ever want to trade live. But for now, we're focusing on paper trading. You'll see a list and one of the options will say paper trading by TradingView. This is the built-in simulator for practicing trades. Select it and then press connect. Almost instantly, TradingView will set you up with a simulated balance, usually $100,000 in fake funds. It's a generous amount, so you can try all kinds of strategies without any real stress. With your paper trading account now connected, you're ready to start practicing. Right from the chart, you'll see buy and sell buttons. Don't be afraid to click around and experiment a bit. Each order you place is just a simulation, so you're not risking anything. Before you place a trade, try to set a stop loss and take profit. These tools are like safety nets. They help you limit your losses and lock in profits, even if you have to step away from the computer. Just click on an order and you'll see options to add your SL and TP levels. To monitor how your demo trades are doing, check out the orders and positions tab within the trading panel at the bottom. This section lets you see every open position, past trades, and your overall performance. If you notice your trades are consistently going against you, that's actually a great learning opportunity. Don't worry, it's all part of the process and you can always try again. Finally, if you ever want to reset your demo account or give yourself a new starting balance, TradingView makes that super easy. Just look for the little gear icon, usually found in the paper trading settings. Click it, and you'll get options to reset your account back to the original demo balance or even choose a custom amount. This is really handy if you want to test out risk management with different portfolio sizes or just start fresh after a string of practice trades. That's it. Now you know how to set up use and reset your TradingView demo account, all set for practicing and refining your trading skills without any of the risk. If you found this tutorial helpful, please tap like down below. And if you have any questions or want to share your paper trading experiences, drop a comment. I always love hearing from you. Don't forget to subscribe for more hands-on trading tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.